Hi and welcome everyone. I'm Sandy and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in beautiful Canada and I am so happy you're here today. Now the reason I have the catalog out is because I want because I want to show you a stamp set that you may have missed and it's a stamp set that we'll be using today. So just making sure the video is working. One moment. Looks like it is, that's kind of good. While we're waiting for that, I just want to remind you that there's only one week left. That's right, one week left to get a free bundle when you join. So my question is, what's holding you back? What is holding you back? I'm gonna move this just a little bit. I should move the whole nine yards closer to me, but I didn't today. Hey Lisa, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Um, yeah, so what's holding you back from from getting the free bundle from, from joining Stampin' Up? Because I'll tell you this, you do not have to do what I do. You don't have to do videos. You don't have to do parties. This is something I've chosen to do. You can be your own happy stamper, and that's perfectly fine. So when you, you get to choose $165 in products, you get a free bundle, and a paper pumpkin kit all for $135. That's pretty sweet. And there's no tax in most provinces and there is no shipping charge on the uh, um, starter kit. So that's pretty cool. Alrighty, let's just see what we have. Oh, hi Claire, hi Rosemary. I'm liking today. You know, it's a free car wash day, free lawn watering day. <laughs> that's the way I look at it. Mm -hmm. Hey Marcy. All right, so. Anyway, so I've said my piece. Um, the joining special ends on the 30th of June. So if you have any questions whatsoever, I want you to contact me and we will talk about it. Okay, so let's open up the catalog. It's only a few pages in because this the stamp set we're using is, is actually shown with a kit. So here we are at the kit. Now, of course, I can't tell if you can see the entire screen, so I do apologize, hopefully. All right, so here it is here. Gorgeous posies, and yeah, such a leg on the Facebook it drives me nuts. Um, okay, so this is the, the the cards that come in the kit, but I noticed this little stamp set down here, and I went, I think I'm really gonna like that. Now, trust me, the images are not that small. <laughs> this is this is the hundred percent size, but you know what? It's easier when you see it like this. That looks so much bigger. And I believe this is distinctive. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm looking for the words, but I believe it is because of the way it stamps. So it's it's kind of nice because we've got get well, birthday anniversary, that kind of thing for a very kind and thoughtful friend. Why not? And then sympathy, wishing you comfort and peace at this time. And it's a beautiful stamp set, which would look beautiful. If you don't have all the supplies, then definitely go for the kit because all you are going to do is just stamp the sentiments, put it together, and boom, you're done. So that's page eight of the catalog. And I'm going to put that away because we are done with the catalog for now. It's good for a year. Oh, I'm just reading. Ah. Uh, you want rain, we have rain, and your dog does not want to go out for a walk. Well, I get that. He needs a little umbrella um, for his for himself, <laughs> you know? Anyway, so there's the set we're using. I say we get stamping. So let's get to it. We're gonna make a couple cards today, by the way. I was just gonna make one, and then I'll show you how that turned out. And then I thought, oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. I'm, I, I kind of, it's a little bit messed up, so I thought, let's make a different one. And then we'll make another one. Ah, uh, I just read Sheltie. Yes, Shelties are, they're very conscious of um, the weather. And uh, my daughter's Sheltie does not like to go outside when her coat might get wet, you know. I call him a, he's the prince. Well, sometimes I call him a princess, but either way. Okay, so here's, <laughs> here's the colors we're using today. Alrighty, Just Jades, we're using one of the new in colors. Yay, almost forgot, basic gray. We'll use that for the sentiment. Highland Heather, 
and gorgeous grape. Yeehaw! So this is going to be very pretty. I think, I hope. No, I know. I already know. So I'll keep that one. I don't want to mix these up. So I'm keeping the Highland Heather and we'll use the um, gorgeous grape next. So first things first. Oh, uh, you know what? Even humans don't like the heat, you know? Definitely not. Oh, that humidity. <laughs> what can you do, right? Alrighty. We're Canadian. We talk about the weather a lot. I sure do. I check it every day. All right. So it's a it's a pretty large stamp when you look at it. And this is the size of the um, the layer, which I wrote down. One moment. I will tell you what the size is. It's under some leaves that I didn't want to forget about. Ah, four by five and a quarter because we're going to layer it up. I want to remind myself that it's this is a landscape card. Okay, a little bit more. And always remember stamp off the page that's a little bit too much ink and I'll show you the difference that's less ink it's funny because I didn't re-ink this since it, I used it and then we're gonna need another one so this doesn't look like a scrap um, no it's for card base but I can use it so and then one that we would be Oh, right on the edge. Whew, <laughs> that's kind of a tad close, isn't it? My goodness. All right, and then, okay, first things first. Yeah, and look at, when you think about dogs, like most of them are wearing a coat all the time. You know, we can put shorts on and sleeveless tops and bathing suits and such. Well, maybe not, but uh, if I'm going in a pool, definitely, I will. I will put that bathing suit on nobody needs to never mind <laughs> anyway and then a couple of the leaves so if you can see what I mean by it doesn't stamp solid which makes it distinctive so you've gotten this nice dark outline then lighter here or dark, darker light here and that little bit darker and so on so I think that adds a lot of interest to the cards okay oh don't, let's not forget then the gorgeous grape oh I had it out I just got them mixed up oh that would not be the first time oh and that we're not done with that Un momento what were you thinking Sandy now I'm just trying to think did I, I was deciding if I did original or stamped off for the leaves I may have done a mixture not sure so we'll do a mixture as well just because so <coughs> pardon me let's do a solid one here it's okay if you overlap just a little bit I, I forgive you forgive yourself too if you happen to overlap it's no big deal much darker and then a little bit lighter our our sentiment layer is going in here, which is why I've left this entire area empty. So we've got those, got these. Put the jade away. So I think we're done with that. This way. Okay. So this is really cute. I'll show you what it does. I love those little dots. And for these, I'm gonna I'm gonna go. This is the. <laughs> I can't read that. I can't read that. Gorgeous grape. I'm limited to English. At first when I was making this card, I was like, I don't like this. This is boring. Oh, gotta do one for this one too. Alrighty. And then let's set that there and put this away. Let's say we do a little bit putting putting together and see what we've got. So my card base is just jade. So I thought we'd bring that color in. And rather I did look at Highland Heather but decided on the gorgeous grape because it had a little bit more impact behind the layer. I didn't want to go with my usual black because that would be too harsh for such a, a soft card. So oh I should tell you this is five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter. Um, I do have a score line on there but this obviously needs to be flatter so bone folder and away we go. And like I always say, I like to do both sides. Not sure why I just do. This piece here 
is four and one eighth by five and three eighths. So it just matches perfectly. Oh, another winter girl, yay. <laughs> I do enjoy winter. The nice cool weather, the nice fresh air. <sighs> Although, give me, I don't know, Georgian Bay and some sunscreen and I'm there too. Alrighty, I just cleaned off the glue boogie. There we go. There we go. Let's lay it flat. I didn't have it laying flat, thus it wasn't um, quite, it wasn't quite, uh, well, you know what? It's, I have glue on my finger, which is there. All right. And of course I lost my train. I thought, oh, so how typical is that? It's kind of like when I forget to place an order which, believe it or not, I did do. And I will fix that problem as soon as the video is over. I have to admit, you know, I'm, I'm human. I make mistakes. That's the way it works. <laughs> Alrighty, so did anyone else miss this uh, particular stamp set in the uh, catalog? Or had you looked at it and kind of went, meh? I don't know. Let's see, do I have an up and a down? I kind of like it like that, I think. Yep, I like it like that. Had to think about it for a moment. Sometimes you have to pause. Just take a wee pause. Oh, yes, I know you love camping. I am so not an outdoorsy girl. Since we had that talk about mosquitoes and, was it horsefly or blackfly? Can't remember but something unpleasant the way I see it okay so now let's do the sentiment which is I decided because this is so soft and pretty I decided to make it the, the get well card and although I just took this piece of paper away I do want to bring it back because I just like to make sure that my stamp is stamping is straight so I'm not I'm hoping I have to look at this and see I'm pretty sure you can see the bottom of this. So here's the bottom of the paper. And I would just go right up to the edge with the block and say, that's pretty, that's pretty darn close to, needs a little tip this direction, ever so slightly. We're good. All right. It didn't stamp well though. So I'm making sure there's lots of ink on it. And just in case I goof up, by the way, there is, um, uh, a second one in waiting, but I didn't I didn't actually stamp it first and Rosemary says you can't get past the two I got yeah you know what the sunflower set I've heard such good things about that I it's not yet on my list but it will be like I said I can't have everything woo okay so that really helps when you you put ample ink on so that helps a lot now, if you're wondering why on earth did Sandy stamp that way over there, well, there's a reason. I am going to clean these, and I'm trying to remind myself to take a bunch of ink off here rather than on the stampin', <coughs> pardon me, stampin' chamois. Okay, so these two need fussy cutting, and it just so happens that I did, actually, I did a few. I'm never sure how many I'm going to need, so I just did a few. Fussy cutting is probably the most boring thing to watch on a video. Well, one of the most boring things to watch. That and, and dimensionals. So let's get rid of all the stuff we really don't need for real this time. And get this set up. And yes, I did just check to make sure that was going the right direction. This is going to be popped up. The purpose of laying it there is just to see, well, one... Which fussy cut do I like better? There's a little end on that one, but that's okay. I decided, I'm pretty sure, I like I like lots of foliage on them, so I think I might go like that. I like that. Okay, stay. And that can stay. So what I'm going to do is get these guys. These are the... Uh, glue dots and if I put one there don't move 
The good thing about glue dots is that you actually can maneuver them just a wee bit. So that works out quite well. Because I had made my sample cards and just kind of went, eh, I don't know. And so you can go, oh, there, 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 there. So I can point down a little bit, I can point up. And also it can fill in little white areas if you need. So if I was to go just about there, and then they can stay put once you put the dimensionals on. Speaking of which, here they are. So first things first, let's get our dimensionals on. It is a really pretty set. I'm actually really glad I got it too. I do, I may not be able to grow them, but I do love flowers. Okay, I can grow some flowers, some. So I'm just using my take your pick tool that one come up I'm looking to see if it's shiny it is so they're all off okay alrighty so let's just lay that right about there oh my gosh I totally forgot dang it I totally forgot the ribbon that's sitting right beside me okay so here's the ribbon we were going to use I can still use one of them honest to Pete okay don't lay that down yet I might still be able to get away with this I can't believe I did that again and it's it's, is it? It is written on my little cheat note. Use the ribbon, Sandy, use the ribbon. I'm just gonna neaten up that end just a little bit. I kind of have an idea of how I can do it since I can't tuck it under now and I am not a fan. By the way, if you do it, it's okay. I'm just not a fan of doing this. Cause then you open up the card and you can see it. And I'm not, that, that just, that doesn't suit this girl. So, I'm going to improvise with a little piece of the in color um, just jade ribbon which is quite pretty it's got that kind of a herringbone on it I don't know if that shows in the there lay flat on the screen or not and I'm hoping we're not going fuzzy this time like last last day is this Monday Tuesday so last uh, Friday I do not have the fan on in here so yes, it is a little roasty toasty. Well, I shouldn't say that the furnace fan is on, so it's providing some nice little bit of relief. I don't think it's an air conditioning day yet. Maybe it is. There, that's kind of sticky. All right, so this is my thought. I can have just that little piece kind of just sticking out there. And then I'll do something different for the other side. When you go to my blog, which by the way will be up as soon as I upload the video, when you go to my blog, you will see the um, the ribbon all the way across because because I remembered then. I always say it's so different when you actually do the live video. I look over to my left. I just made sure that was my left. Oh, for crying out, Petey's! Don't get stuck to me. Oh, we're having, okay, we're having glue dot issues. One moment. There's a solution for everything. If the glue dot's sticking to you, stick it to the card. <laughs> Ta-da! Okay, oh, uh oh somebody did a no-no. There we go. Okay, so just a little bit right there. There. Bit of a save. Alrighty, and then this I'm also going to pop up because... We love our dimensionals, of course. Yep, you'll just be able to see that just a bit. There we go. You ladies are very quiet today. I know it's like, kind of like, okay, Sandy, give me a chance to actually say something. <laughs> Stop talking, Sandy. Ah, it's hard to believe you're shy, Sandy. Okay. Right about there. And then we do get to use this, so I'm not forgetting. Um, it might be a little bit unusual to do to use two different ribbons on one card this way, but I really like this. One, I love gingham pretty much as much as I like plaid. And this is the, it's from a combo pack. Oh, the flowers for every season combo pack. So if you haven't seen it, you might want to take a look. Okay, so I'm just gonna make a little bow. So two ways you can do your bunny ears, bloop, or you go around your thumb. So I think I'm just gonna go around my thumb. 
keep that loop. The loop is where my thumb is and then slide that under and boom, out comes a bow. Almost pulled that too much. Da, da, da. And then you just manipulate it until you have what you want. So pull that one out a bit there and then pull. And then what's really kind of cool about this is it's kind of a short end is I'll show you pull okay is this I noticed when I was I was getting ready to photograph the cards that you can actually kind of pump these up a little bit and it, it looks far more 3d than when it's not so I thought that was kind of pretty so you give the card you see the card sitting out on the person's table or whatever and you just go and print that bow just a little bit and ta-da all right glue dot such a pretty little bow and such a pretty color that of course is the just jade as well so if i do that ta-da card number one. Oh, you know what i you know what i want to do hmm i think i can still do it i i like the cards to have some more dimension so this is probably best to do before you put this on. But where there's a will, there's a way. So you could use your bone folder. It would probably be best, again, before it's on. But for now, because it is, I'm just going to use my fingernails and just kind of like ribbon, like you would with scissors. And then just give that a little bit of 3D. And that is pretty. What do you think? card number one. I rather like it. I like the colors together. Um, I'm not a huge pur purple doesn't look great on me but I do like the combination because it's so soft and, and pretty. Okay let's maybe put some ribbon back where it goes and start the second card. So we'll keep that one handy and start card number two. So we'll bring our paper back out. This time, we're using Mango Melody and Pear Pizzazz. Bright, not so bright. And they're very pretty. Now, I am using these stamps again, which means they're going to need a cleaning. So, I did bring this. So, if we do a little bit of this, get some of that ink off. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you, ladies. It is a pretty color combination, and I didn't want to go not so crazy. Um, I will show you the first one where I used like four different colors, and um, I don't know. I was. I, it's sometimes I'm looking for subtle, you know, soft, soft and subtle. What I'm doing, if you're wondering, like, why am I doing it like this? Because of the edge here, and I pushed fairly hard into the um, Highland Heather. I just want to make sure there's nothing on the edges. So giving her a real good clean. Ta-da! And then this one. Well, that's green, so it's fine. We definitely need to get rid of that color. And it's gone. And what color was I using for that? Hmm. Oh, I know. The color I didn't get out yet. So let's get that color out. Which one was it? I think it was this one. <laughs> we'll find out. It's, it's to be seen. Okay. So, card, and the other piece I had in there, we go. So this time, the card is going, we're going to do the inside as well, because why not? And, um, I, did I fussy, I did not fussy cut anything. Okay, just making sure everything's here. Okay. Nice and simple. And if you wonder... Why are my cards not more challenging? Why am I not doing, you know, whatever? I want my cards to be something that you can make. I want you to be able to duplicate this and not be frustrated and, uh, and be really happy with what you've made. So it looks like I could ink this one just a little bit. The stamp pad. So this is, again, the uh, Mango Melody. Okay, well, that just became the front of the card. <laughs> I just, I had them, you know, all worked out how I was doing this. Okay. 
that's okay. And I think what we'll do is something fairly simple. It's kind of nice to open up the card and have such a happy looking inside to the card. So this is the inside, this is the front. Whoop, almost. <laughs> do not put your mango melody, your leaf in mango melody. Let me just double check to see. Alrighty, so this is the pear pizzazz, and I've had this one for a while. Um, last time I reinked it, I'm not sure. So again, we're going pretty subtle here. One little, can I fit one little leaf in there? I think I can. I think I can, I think I can, and let's go for one more up here. All right, this one I'm not putting any leaves on. I don't, I don't, uh, I think these three are, will, are, will suffice. All right, I think it was Flirty Flamingo. There's one way to find out. That looks horrible, don't be surprised. That was a... Oh, it was, okay. So this time I'm stamping off. So go into the ink pad, stamp here, stamp here. I do it backwards sometimes, yes I do. It just... And I would never have thought of putting these colors together until I was looking for something and red wasn't the color I wanted. None of the reds were what I wanted. And it uh, works out really well. So yeah, together you'd be like, oh, no. But it works. Somehow it just works. Okay, so that's the inside of the card. Now we could say the front is almost done. I'm just looking for my sentiment. I would like to do that too, which I think I was going to do in Mango Melody. Oh, you know what I forgot to tell you? This is one of the stitch rectangles. That would help. This is also one of the stitch rectangles. Of course, I have two. And I am using the, we'll call it the birthday stamp. And again, not going with uh, black and hoping that I have the stamp on straight. Let's take a little peek out to the edge of the paper. Nope, that's crooked. So let's see, I have to tip it that way just a little bit. Nope. All right, let's get that lined up. All righty. That was pointing down, so I have to take this side and move it up just a little bit. And get ink on our fingers. All right. One more, out to the edge of the paper, line up that edge, mostly. It's better. Is it perfect? No. Oh, oops. <laughs> that was horrible. That was really horrible. Ah. Oh my goodness. Somebody cannot stamp straight to save her soul. Okay, well I have one other piece. Why are you not stamping straight? Okay, like I said, there's a solution for everything. Here's our solution to get the cutter out. Yes, your trimmer, your paper trimmer. Let's get that off of there. Okay, so this is how I do this. Let's maybe just get that right out of the way. All right, so I'm gonna take my stamp and look at my trimmer. Now, I'm hoping you can see that. It's gonna be a little crooked for me, but this will be okay. And, just looking at the way it's cut, it's actually a little bit thicker on this end. A little bit, so it might be off still just a bit. And I'm just lining it up with this line along here, whatever works for whatever block you're using. Okay, whoa, big noise. Let's give that a try. And we will practice again. You know, sometimes you ever get this where you just, you cannot, no matter what you do, you're not stamping straight. Okay, fingers crossed. Otherwise, no sentiment for you. Oh gosh. Okay, they're all terrible. Well, my good granny, that did not work. I don't have any more. <laughs> Look at, which one's the worst? Actually, it's bugging me. One more sec. Again, ever happened to you where some days, no matter what you do, you can't stamp straight? 
which is when your stamparatus comes in handy. Not kidding. All right, I'm gonna flip it over and try to find a spot that I would like to try this on. Okay, so if it's stamped straight there, I know this is upside down, but since it's bugging me, if I line it up there and it's stamped straight, oh my gosh, if you notice, here's a little tip again, you see how light this is in the center? I'm pushing the ink out. So rather than stamp in the center, I'm gonna to go to the edges and get that ink. That should be better. Let's see if we can stamp it straight this time. Of course, that was up higher. Zoop. Oh, the pain, the pain of it all. I was gonna say, I'm totally gonna to give up. Ugh. <laughs> I give. I do. What would normally happen, and this is what I probably should have done, was you stamp it on your scrap paper. Oh, why don't we do that? Stamp it on your scrap paper and then die cut it. There's your solution. Oh my goodness. And you poor uninked little thing. Thanks for sticking with me, by the way, while I work through my... Um, stamping issue let's say that's i mean i was gonna say if that's straight then i won't be happy but i do have we have some die cutting not die cutting well we're going to die cut now one second while i grab it i had to put them both both my yes i have two i had to put them both on the floor because i have no space left on my desk okay so here's your layer layering rectangles and the one I want, it would they would have looked like this when you got them, so it would be the smallest one here. And that can go. So, and I know my plates are hideous. And there's one thing I want to do, because when you die cut, do not send your die cuts through this direction. You want to put them on an angle, like so. Less surface area means it's better for your roller, which will then last longer because it won't get whacked. Why didn't I think of that like this like five, five stamps ago? I know, and my camera's so close, you probably can't see any of this anyway. But there it is. Take it out of there. Because of the stitching, it's good and stuck in there. So gently with your fingernail, just push it out or a tool, whatever works for you. And that one can go bye-bye. Bye-bye. And I could get new plates, but I, you know what? I'm not about wasting money. They still work. So, um, so be it. You don't need that anymore. There, clean up your work surface, right? Much better, much better. Now, let's get the base of the card. Now, when I look at this, and this is the same as the last card, by the way, five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter, and also needs another one of these. When I look at this and this, I'm like, that's really, really plain. And that's what I thought when I was making it. So we're going to do something else, which is, oh, don't fall, which is, we're going to, going to use this folder. Now this is, do I have it? I do not. Um, this is the dandelions folder. So I want to add some texture to the card, which is really simple to do. So let's get that machine, which is right here. So you notice the difference. This one has the blue plate. Now my, I've had my machine long enough that I have the tabs that are still attached. I thought, I think, I know we don't sell these anymore, but I'm pretty sure the pre uh, next ones did not have these attached. And if I think correctly, I think I needed just tab one. And I'm gonna do a no-no. All right, so remember in past videos, am I in a good spot? Mostly, I'll be uncomfortable, it's fine. When you when you do your embossing, you want to put the spine through first. Any pressure then comes out this way and you're not risking breaking it. 
However, the way I want to do this is like so over to the side a little bit. That obviously will not go through the machine. So the no-no part is I'm doing it this way. We're gonna break a little rule today. And like I said, so be it. Oh, my stand is in the way. Sorry for jiggling you. There we go. Everybody out of the boat. And you see the difference? Let's get rid of this first. Down it goes. There we go. And you just take in a card with pretty well not much happening on it, except some real nice bright flowers, and added a bit of zing to it. So I, I really think that's pretty. So, and simple. And simple. Now, if you if you didn't want to emboss, let's say you don't have the machine yet, um, which isn't available quite yet, let's say you wanted to, you still wanted to do something to add a little bit more to the card, then go with the fussy cutting and once again take the edges and there we go. I had to think there. It's like when I do my passwords when I'm talking on the phone. It's like, yeah, I can't do that. And, um, and yeah, bring the edges up like we did on the first card. So let's do the inside. Alrighty. Oh, and these pieces, by the way, are four and an eighth by five and three quarters. I think I gave you, I think I gave you all the other measurements. White on white is hard to see, so I just usually let it, well that worked, let it fall and go with it. So, almost done. There's something on there I don't like. There we go. Keeping it simple, keeping it simple. All right, well, we need this. I think this would be a really pretty card to receive in the mail because it's it's not your, it's definitely not your dollar store card. It's a pretty card. It's simple, but pretty. I hope you agree. Um, little reminder that if you haven't signed up for my newsletter, when you go over and check the blog for the still photos, um, you can see deciding where this goes. You can see the um, cards there, still photos, and the video, of course, will be over there. Um, be sure to sign up for the newsletter. A little pop-up will pop up. <laughs> I will put the link to shop. If you, if you love this stamp set and you want to purchase it, then uh, the link to my online store will be there. Um, on my blog, I have all the products listed in case you're like, what did she say? I usually put closed captioning on my YouTube videos, but I haven't been doing it on um, Facebook. Um, I wanted to show you card number three before we go. So this one's really bright. This I use the Magenta Madness, and you notice the difference between how this one's stamped and this one's stamped. This stamp pad is like really, really, it's brand new. So. If you want to make the card with this color, what you'll need is, say, a plastic spoon or just an old spoon or one you don't, well, just wash it right away. And you're going to take your ink pad, and I'll pretend I'm doing this, but I don't have a spoon handy. And take your ink pad, and you're going to massage the ink away the way it looked on the Mango Melody, where you could see the light spot. You want to see more of that when you're stamping. And that's when you'll get more of the distinction in the stamp. So you have to push the color away. When you're done, you can just push it back. So it's no biggie. But yeah, that's why I didn't show you this card at first. So this one is the Magenta Madness. This is still the um, Flirty Flamingo. Uh, gorgeous Grape Shaded Spruce. And then for the insides of these little guys, I use Tuxedo Black. But yeah, and I like my white space. You know me, I like my white space here. This is what I mean, you can still adjust these. So anyway, these are the cards we made today. And I hope you like them. Again, the link to shop will be up shortly, as will the video on my blog. And um, please subscribe to YouTube. And I will see you. Oh, share my video, please. If you would, be ever so kind. That would be lovely. I will see you Friday at 2 p.m. 
have a wonderful week. Stay dry. Nope, we're getting some more rain soon by the looks of things. Stay dry. Enjoy. And uh, again, see you on Friday. Bye-bye.